Hey guys, how's it going? My name is McToasted and welcome back to WWE Supercard. I haven't posted on this in a minute. I was grinding Seth pretty hard, but then I had a day where I couldn't play at all, and so I didn't get Seth, and you know, that sucked. So, uh, I'm basically just turning my attention to trying to get as many WrestleMania 39 Pros as possible, because I'm going to start a new series on the new um, tier, when the new tier drops, which should be in about a month or so. And I'm not really close right now. Last season I got these event cards, right? I got Sammy, I got Kurt, and I got Lita pro So I was able to sneak into uh, WrestleMania 39 pretty easy, but this season I have not had as much luck. The event cards haven't been as appealing to me. Like, I don't really want to sit there grinding for four days straight for a Roman Reigns card. Um, it's just boring, so that's my opinion on it. But that's not what I'm talking about today. What I'm talking about today is the Rarity Draft Board. So basically what you want to do for the Rarity Draft Board is get as many draft picks accumulated as possible without spending any super coins, any credits, or without spending too much time doing nothing. So um, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I beat on the Survivor Drum as much as humanly possible. I think Survivor is like the best game mode to get yourself pros. Um, because it does something that other modes just don't do. It'll give you a card of your tier straight out. Like, all you have to do is win. And I've posted two videos on Survivor Series, maybe even three. I think it is three, actually. On Survivor Series, how to win your games, how to survive, that kind of thing. So, if you're interested in that, go check that out. But that's my way that I get all my WrestleMania 39 cards. I just haven't been playing as much, which is why I don't have any WrestleMania 39 pros. But pretty much all of these, aside from a couple, like obviously JD's a fusion, but... A few of these I got from, like, uh, packs from Codebreaker, but aside from that, pretty much everybody's from Survivor, because Survivor just spits cards at you, and it's great. And even when you lose, like you see right here, I just finished this up before I recorded, I lost, I didn't have my super move going into it, so I was kind of just hoping to get a rare draft pick for this, but it's super easy to get rare draft picks off of this as well. Like, yes, the Octanes right here aren't the best things in the world, but you're going to get a rarity draft pick straight out. And you're going to get 25 draft picks that are going to be used to dust. And the biggest mistake that I see people making when they want rarity draft picks is they're not dusting. You you have to, <laughs> you can't just play Survivor. You have to dust as well. And you can't just hope that you're going to get it in like other packs. So right here, I'm using my rarity draft pick. It just got reset yesterday. So Cora Jade, whatever, it doesn't matter. All we want to do every single time we pick off the rarity draft board, we get ourselves a better chance at getting a card of our tier. So now I'm going to knock out all these picks, and then I'm going to dust, and we should get a little closer to yet another rarity draft pick. Alright, so I just knocked out the 25 draft picks, and I didn't get anything crazy. I did get the Cora Jade from the rarity draft board, and I'm just going to dust her. I have no use for Octanes at this point, they're just, they're extinctions last season, so they're not really helping me. So I'm just going to use that to get further to a, another rarity draft pick, and that's how I'm going to do it. And, of course, you can go ahead and spend your super coins on draft picks. Once again, I do not recommend it. There are very easy ways to get it. You can start a King of the Ring and just kind of let it run. You'll get at least five draft picks. It doesn't hurt you to do that at all. And then, if you get past the first round, you'll get 25 draft picks. So, that's a super solid way of getting it. You don't really have to do anything for that. Uh, Survivor, like I said, absolutely phenomenal. You can, if you win, obviously, you'll get a card of your tier. If you're the highest tier, you get WrestleMania 39. If you're in the Maelstorm tier, you get a Maelstorm. SummerSlam, whatever. You'll get the tier in your, you get a card in your tier. And even if you don't, you'll get either good feeding fodder or you'll get cards that'll charge your dust. And especially when an event's going on, like the Valentine's Day event or the um, current spring event, you can have a chance at these cards as well, which are limited time. So, you know, that's cool. And even if you're absolutely horrible at Survivor and somehow you lose every single game, 10 picks, nothing to scoff at. And all you need to do is get 4th place to get a rarity draft pick. 4th place isn't hard to get, you just need to not lose immediately, essentially. So, perhaps I'll throw another uh, Survivor Series video out there, but definitely, definitely take advantage of Survivor Series. It's the best thing you can use for rarity draft boards. And then, the other thing you can do is, of course, you can play PvP. You can be a menace to society, go into PvP, play a whole bunch of Royal Rumble games. You get 12 draft picks a game, same thing with Elimination Chamber. If you're gonna go with PvP, stay away from War, doesn't matter the cards that you get aren't going to be as abundant, so just bite the bullet and do one of these. Personally, I just stick to Survivor Series, and of course, the other thing you can do, which I will always recommend, is grind the event. So my team kind of gave up on RTG. We never really do RTG because it's kind of a pain, but uh, my team did not do this, but whenever you do have a team event or a regular event, you know, Giants Unleashed, Codebreaker, the one that just played, uh, you can go ahead and play that, and you'll get a whole bunch of draft picks, stack your rarity draft board, 
and it's super easy. You just need to accumulate as many draft picks as possible, don't spend your credits on it, and try to work towards other things at the same time. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Stack your rarity draft picks. Good luck. See you later.